Hey, what's up guys? Zaya from Carnuba Detailing. Today I am in Scottsdale, Arizona with PC Enterprises and the PNS Detailing team. We are doing an inspiration coating today. As you can see, we got the PC Enterprises and PNC mobile unit over here behind me. Um, the class has already started. I'm just here to film some content, help out some of the individuals that are in training with Keith and Mark from PC Enterprises and PNS. It's going to be a pretty awesome experience, guys. Hopefully you guys will tune in, kind of check out what's going on. Um, but overall, the class is just showing these um, individuals how to properly install inspiration as a ceramic coating and just go over ceramic coatings in general. Um, a lot of the individuals here don't really know too much about coating technology and things of that nature. So we want to make sure we go ahead and provide them knowledge in order to provide to their customers as well and improve the detailing industry overall. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, guys, it's bringing you into the training center here at PC Enterprises in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, the individual that's going to be talking throughout most of the clips is Keith Duplessis. He is one of the founding members of the International Detailing Association, also part of the Detail Mafia, and works very closely with PC Enterprises and also PNS. So he's going to put out some awesome info on codings and things of that nature, and when I need a sub in with my voiceover, I'll sub in. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Interlocking bond with the surface of the paint, which means that it's not going to come off with just chemical washing or normal, um, you know, sunlight and, and that kind of thing. It actually needs an abrasive to take it off. Now, anybody here from Texas? Like me. Okay. In Dallas, everybody says, oh, it must be a smoggy day in Dallas. There's a brown cloud over the city. And I always tell them, no, it means there's no wind today. Because if there was wind, that dust cloud would blow over. So what happens in Dallas is you drive along the roads, and there's this dust in the air, and it's constantly hitting the surface of your car. And what do you think that dust is doing? It's abrading away your coating. So that's how the coating wears off there. Here, you're in the desert. We have any dust? So you have a good chance that your coating may not hold up as well because you have a lot of dust in the air, and you're constantly driving through that air and hitting it with the dust and you're abrading your coating, okay? It's deteriorating. That's why no coating lasts forever, okay? If you're in the Northeast, what do we got on the roads? We got salt. Well, salt is a semi-solid particulate when it hits the car, so it's abrading. The salt isn't deteriorating, but the abrasion effect of the salt is deteriorating the coating. Okay, in the Pacific Northwest, You've got rain, you've got you know all sorts of different environments. So you get rain, road crime kicks up, all that stuff, it can abrade away your coating. So that's why your coating deteriorates over a period of years. Okay? Coatings by their nature are all, are all built with a UV inhibitor in, so they protect the car against sun fade or paint fading. Okay? So that's what coatings do. That's what they are. And of course, the first thing we have to do, guys, is go ahead and do a decon on the Lexus. Now, the Lexus was already hand washed, and now we're just going through the clay process, making sure that everybody understands that you have to both chemically and also mechanically decontaminate the surface that you're working on. We're using multiple types of tools in this process, everything from a traditional clay bar to clay mitt to clay towels, and having everyone experience each one of those at one time. So after Keith was done thoroughly explaining ceramic coatings to everyone and answered any questions that came up, we went ahead and started examining the Lexus at hand. Now this Lexus had everything from water spots to minor scratches to heavier scratches. What we were focusing on is more of the ceramic coatings and its application rather than the correction process. So we're just going to be doing a one-step polish throughout the whole correction on this vehicle. So after inspecting the vehicle, Keith went ahead and stressed the importance of testing out your polish, compound, and machine combination. So basically your test panel. And we went over the fact that you need to test out multiple types of machines and tools to go ahead and tackle the job. It's not always your pad and polish combination that's going to make the difference, guys. Your throw, rotation, and speed can also make a big difference in your cutting ability and your finish as well. So we use battery-operated dual-action polishers from Flex. We use Rupes, short throws, and long throw polishers, and we also use force action polishers. The only thing we didn't pull out was a rotary machine because obviously we're doing one step, but you need to go ahead and test your options to see what the best finish you are able to achieve with your combination of machine, pad, and polishes.
All right, guys, so we just did um, the first half of the training right now, just going over the whole warranty program with inspiration and stuff like that. Now we're just taking a little bit of a break, people drinking some water, going using the restroom, but now we're going to go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty. We're going to go ahead and break up into teams and polish this thing out in just a few moments now, and then we're actually going to go over the installation of inspiration on the vehicle surface. So um, one interesting thing about inspiration is that it is a warrantied ceramic coating. Now there's other ceramic coatings on the market that say that they have a warranty, but it's more so of a guarantee than rather than just a warranty. So you have to make sure. Inspiration is the only ceramic coating on the market that's actually warrantied by an insurance company. There's no other coating on the market that has that right now, um, which is really interesting. So we're gonna jump straight back into the training real quick, guys. I'm gonna bring you straight in. trying to take as much clips as I can, trying to get you guys involved in this process to the best of my ability, but I can only record so much for training purposes and stuff like that. Um, and also not to get in the way too much as well. I don't want to be irritating to any of the individuals here. Um, they're here to learn. I know how to do this stuff. I want to make sure that they know how to do it too. Um, but Mark, Keith, everyone's doing an amazing job helping out all these trainees right now. I'm subbing in here and there um, when I see something going on wrong. Come on, Gimbal. There we go. But I'm going to try to bring you guys into the inspiration application. Um, and after that, I'm probably going to end the video in a little bit as well. Not to make it too lengthy. So, um, yeah, tune you in. And just remember I said... You want to ensure that the entire vehicle is wiped down. So not just the paint, but this kind of stuff, right? This, my towel comes over here. I don't want to pick that up and drag it around. So I really want to decontaminate the entire vehicle. So, um, but before we get to having you guys do the whole vehicle, um, I do want to address a couple of things. First, a vehicle in this state, this mud powder and dust on it is actually pretty good. It's pretty minimal. But a lot of folks will take this vehicle to the wash bay and they'll rinse it down. Or they will do an O&R or, or no rinse type process. So you can do that. Um, we have a product called Pearl Hand Wash. It's our standard bucket wash soap. But a uh, half ounce to two gallons of material 
We'll give you a no rinse product. So if you want in your dry bay and not have to drag the car back to the wet bay, you can do a no rinse wash product or process on the car to take all this dust and, and, and polishing residue off if you chose to do that. Uh, or you can do what I'm going to ask you guys to do today, which is take the um, coating surface prep and spray the whole vehicle down and wipe it down. So that's the method we're going to do tonight. But a no rinse process is certainly possible. Now, the wet wash process, just talking with these gentlemen here, is really unique because it gives you an opportunity to do something that a lot of people in our industry don't know. And we learned it through our detailers network. So when you guys ask me what's the benefit of doing something like that and being part of a professional organization like that, because we pay dues every month, right? Yep. yep. And, and we pay for the, the right to have access to the kind of information we can share there. One of our members is a physicist. Mm -hmm. You don't know this, but uh, he did some testing on coatings, and what he found was a negatively charged panel will accept coating as far as bonding more readily, and that that coating can last up to 35% longer on the car because of its adhesion. Okay, what does that mean? If it's got a negative charge to it, the coating sticks better. Tracks. We're putting that in English, right? Okay, that's cool. We want to be fairly generous with this, but to the point that we're actually accomplishing something. So this is not a go through the motion process. Okay, it's not this. It's let's be specific. Let's hit the areas that we need to to make sure we're getting all the dust, all the material off of where it is, so that we can wipe it out. I like to use a two towel method. Okay, so good towel etiquette, as some good friends of ours will tell you, is to tear off the deck. Okay, quad your towels. So on this one, I can do my first pass, pick up the bulk of the material, and then for my final wipe out, to get a nice dry surface, just like I would do with my window cleaning, I tear off my tags. I can come back, and I can buff it dry and make sure it's perfectly bone dry. We want zero moisture, residue on the surface of the vehicle and we want zero dust and because I'm kind of using an odd shape to park the car, that's my space. Now I'll fill my space of where I put my coating and now I'll cross hand. And I'm just applying the coating nice and evenly so I get an even striping um, and a little bit of kind of a rainbow finish to it. <coughs> That's the coating starting to set up. Okay, you can see the stripes here. All those edges, you see them? Little ridges. If you take a coffee break and walk away right now, you're going to have ridges on the paint. So what we want to do is we want to level this down. And I'm just going to take my towel, and again, with my nice light touch, I'm going to just drag over the surface area that I applied to. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a light cross hatching of the work area that I did, and I'm going to be done. Okay? As I do a couple squares, you'll start to see this, this edge load up the product. I'm going to set that here. Again, I don't want to contaminate it. I got fan blowing behind me. I got airflow. I got a perfect day. This can dry quick. So I'm going to work from where I left off, and I'm going to come up. And I'm going to come over. And now where I am, you can kind of see the linear stripes of the application of the product. And now I will cross hatch. And you can kind of start to see it up here because the light's just perfect for it. And guys, I do also want to say I'm super, super sorry for the audio that's coming from these video clips. The training center is not optimized for taking video or recording stuff there. There's a lot of noise from the air conditioning system and the fans and all that stuff. And also the lighting isn't the best. But hopefully you guys got a lot out of the video thus far. Right now we just broke up into four or five teams. Everyone got an applicator pad and a set of microfiber towels to so go ahead and try applying um, inspiration ceramic coating on the surface of the Lexus and as you can see we got Keith and also Mark going around and me as well kind of 
pitching in and helping out where I can when I'm not taking videos um, and helping out all the trainees and making sure they're doing everything correctly and understanding how to apply and how to properly remove as well so we don't end up with any high spots or any kind of damage to the vehicle surface. So one thing that's super, super important that I wanted to add, guys, probably the most important part of this video is that all these individuals that you see in this training and the certification class come from all types of levels of detailing. Some of the individuals are already Ceramic Pro certified, IGL certified, and some detailers here didn't even know what ceramic coatings were or how they worked before they came in. And I find that truly incredible that all these people put in the money, put in the time to get away from their family and go learn something new, not only to improve themselves, their company, but also the service that they provide for their customers customers and community and that's the most important part about this guys if you have the chance go out get trained get certified and take advantage of the opportunities that come up throughout your area when it comes to the detailing industry these classes are not just about getting certified for ceramic coatings it's also about rubbing shoulders meeting new people and networking with all these awesome individuals that you see on a regular basis throughout our industry whether it be on social media or in person now here are the final results of the Lexus guys we completed the ceramic coating it looks great it looks fabulous it looks amazing we obviously did a final inspection before the car headed out and we all said goodbye shook hands and had a great rest of the evening if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you have any questions comment below in the comment section and like always check out all my social media platforms below in the description as well as my two podcasts the az detail project and the zd project thank you again guys for watching i really appreciate it and have a great rest of the day